Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about upcoming Final Fantasy 12 banner. So let's take a look at the five stars first. We don't get Baldir on this week. Maybe Gummy will give him to us as a free unit on the global. Like Kelsus, I can wish, right? Zargabat's skills are still mysterious. I'm not sure how powerful his buff will be, but if it is lower than 75%, then I don't think he is worth because Awakened Ramza able to buff 100% of your stats. I don't think the ailment resist will be useful, especially because we already get Lakshmi who make you able to cast that kind of ability. I doubt there is an enemy who able to cast these four ailments at the same time in one attack. Because yeah, we probably dead if we don't have him at that time. What I want to say is, ailment resist is nice, but it is not a reason to get lower than 75% stats buff. He also able to give you damage mitigation, but we already have Riku here, so it is not essential. His transmitter reward is also nice for a tanker. They should give it Rainbow Helm as a name instead of Judge Helm because yeah, it doesn't boost your Dark Resistance. He also able to recover one character's health to full, but I'm not sure how much MP he able to restore. Anyway, I will make review for him when he is available later. So right now, it is yeah. This is what I can say. Okay, I. I don't know, I'm not sure about him. So yeah, enough about 5 stars hero, let's move to the 4 stars. There are 2 4 stars based on this banner. The first is Ashi. She is really unique character and maybe one of the best magical character on this game. First, her Heaven's Fury is able to attack the enemy and heal all your allies at the same time. That Heaven's Fury is magic best damage and has high hit count, which means you can chain it with others. With two Ashi on your party, you will deal easy chain and quite powerful healing at the same time. So yeah, it is probably same as Duakyu Raja. She is also able to heal all ailments while attacking, so you don't need to worry about ailments. She is definitely one of the best 4 stars based character on this game. Her Trashmaster Ashi's ring is nice ring for a mage. It increases your MP and magic by 30%. So it is kinda like Magistol Crest but yeah, I prefer Magistol Crest more because I think spirit is more important. Her weakness is she need to equip sword to get maximum bonus from her passive. You can equip road, but that means you won't be able to get 50% magic boost. So this will make her magic stats a little bit low because yeah, I think there's only one sword that has high magic and that is Fry Evia's needle. So yeah. Good luck on getting that. The second 4 stars base is Wrestler. His Trashmaster reward is quite nice. This is maybe the first real Trashmaster reward ability for a tanker. Because before this, the combination of health plus 30% are either MP or attack, which is useless for your tanker. But now, with extra 20% on defense, then finally your tanker will have proper Trashmaster reward ability. But let me say this, he is a good hero, but placing him at the same banner with Ash makes him feel more like Guardian Troll. I know that his Patriotic Slash changed really well with Ash's Sword of Kings because they have the exact same frame delay, but his attack stats is mediocre because he is a tanker and tanker hybrid. His tanking skills are also mediocre. He has Sentinel which only has yeah 30% chance to protect ally and royal obligation which is a poor man's version of like is with us. 
Don't get me wrong guys, he is a good character, but please don't make him into your key tanker because he is not the best on tanking capabilities. But seriously guys, his wife is much much better than him. The 3 stars base, Van. I believe that many players, especially veteran, already have him. So this means we already get 60% bonus on this event. On the past, he is definitely MVP hero because he is the only one who knows full break. He gets his 6 stars form, which is nice. His Thrustmaster, Maximilian, is uh, heavy armor. I think it is bad though, because it only boosts defense, and the defense is not that high. He able to chain using his Assault Strike, but... Yeah, you won't use him as a breaker anymore because we already get Warrior of Light, which is better than him. But you can add disease to your enemies to get 10% extra debuff because disease stack with break attack. But the most important thing about him is he able to prevent stop ailments on all your parties. So he will be very handy when you fight enemy who able to inflict stop like on the upcoming final fantasy 12 event he is one of the best budget character on this game however like other budget character his problem lie on his stats his stats are below average another character is penelo who get her five star form but it seems that she doesn't get any boost on this banner because I believe if Gummy boosts her rate, the banner will be like smoking cancer commercial where 5 out of 10 people get cancer from smoking. I think I don't need to talk about her, okay? Troll Trustmaster reward and troll skills get 5 stars form, which means greater troll than before. I'm not sure about this, but it seems Gummy also won't give you bonus if you bring her to the Final Fantasy 12 event because she is not in the picture. On Japan, she gives 50%, so she still get redeeming quality. But that's just my assumption. So if you get yeah like 21 Penelo on your inventory, hold back to get that equipped dagger Trustmaster, just in case Gami gives her. A bonus so should you summon on this banner of course of course you get bonus for the event and as she is also amazing you will need her when fight the enemy who's strong against physical attack not mentioning her chaining is really good I'm still not sure about Zargabat because his skills are still mysterious but if his buff is as good as Ramza's awakened buff then he is worth to have if you don't have Ramza. Beware if you haven't got Riku though. She is worth more than SC on the game. Wrestler is also good, but it will become troll if you want to get SC. Fun is also one of the best budget character on this game. So if you haven't got him, then try to get him because he will be useful for this event or on other event. For me, you already know that I have run out of my lapis, so I don't think I can summon on this banner. Especially because the 250 lapis is replaced by free daily pool. It is possible to get these characters on free pool, maybe. But remember, even if that's possible, we don't get the increased rate. Now let's talk about the event. The event is... A farming event so I don't think it will be difficult the challenge event probably available on the next week tip number one the last boss Tiamat is dragon so let me say this again Virion I choose you I believe that like previous farming event Virion will be very good on this event too not mentioning the bonus monster is a bug type so once again, Furion will be very useful on this dungeon. Low AP cost and good damage. Tip number two is stop resistance. Tiamat, 
able to inflict stop. I'm not sure how it will affect the battle, but yeah, I heard that if you don't kill it within first turn, then it will cast stop. So if it is dangerous, remember that Mughal and Fun able to make your party resist against top. Tip number three is Earth Element. Tiamat is weak against Earth Element, so if you have Alien with Artisan, she will pawn Tiamat really easy. And of course, finally, that Gaia Blade from the story event will be useful now. Tip number four, Blind and Full Break. Tiamat can be blinded and text effect from full break. So yeah, bringing fan here is very good. So if you are a veteran player, then I believe you have a sword called Shining Splendor. So yeah, you may be use you may use that on this event with two blind Tiamat. So yep, I think that's all about the banner and event. Thank you very much for watching, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave Exeus Guide. Bye bye guys!